It's 6.10 p.m. right now, and our venison backstrap with Red Eye Rub has been on the pit barrel cooker with hickory wood for about 10 minutes. And we're running a temperature of 200 degrees, and I'm going to crack the top, but you're not going to see that venison in there. There's too much smoke. That is, there it is in there. So I'll let that keep on going. That has been with the red eye rub on it for several hours and it has been sitting at room temperature now for a little over an hour before we put it on the pit barrel cooker and we're going to smoke it at right around 200 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes and then it's going to go on the gas grill to finish it off and we're going to look for an internal temperature of about 138 when we pull it off that grill Okay, just gonna make a quick video. I just took a six point and a four point. Two doe came across the field and uh, high high grass, scrub grass. And uh, there was about a, maybe 75 to 100 yards behind them two doe. There was, there was this guy right here. So I couldn't tell if it was a buck until it cleared the scrub grass. It got into a little bit of a clearing saw the glint of his antlers and pulled the trigger and he went down right where he stood then I was sitting there just waiting for things to settle and well as soon as I shot this guy the six-pointer there was a, a flag that went up right uh, right next to him and took off going in a westerly direction but then just about maybe seven eight minutes later this guy comes out from the opposite direction walks right up to where the six point was lay laying now that's just a little four point there right here walks right up to where the six point was laying looks at the six point puts its nose in the air and then starts walking down this little pathway here and uh at first i couldn't see the antlers and so i zoomed in with my scope and uh sure enough a little four point buck so that was probably about a 100 yard shot on the four point and maybe a 70 yard shot on the six point. Two nice deer. I gotta drag them up to the corner now. Okay, it's 635 and we've just transferred our venison tenderloin from the hickory smoke on the pit barrel cooker to the grill. So we're gonna grill this bad boy until it comes up to, like I said, about 138 to 140 at the max, and then take it off. But we'll we'll flip it over. Make sure we have some good sear on there in the meantime. It is 6:44, and I've already flipped it, and this venison backstrap is already up to temperature. So I am going to pull this off. We're going to bring it in and let it rest for a little while. And that looks absolutely delicious. Venison backstrap with red eye rub. Hickory smoke. And put on the gas grill. It is 7 o'clock and we have a lemon ricotta pasta with arugula with our smoked and barbecued venison backstrap over hickory wood smoke. It looks delicious.